Yo, what's poppin'? Your boy TJ back with another React video, Trade with Pat. We are watching today, he dropped a video turning $220 into $25,000 and also passing apparently a prop firm account and getting funded as well. So, without further ado, let's get into this one. Also, subscribe this to This isn't Pat a magic trick. I'm taking $220 and turning it into $25,000. I'll walk you through every single step I took and show you how you could do it too. Let's go. My goal today is to get funded. Not every trader has $25,000 to trade with and trading on a small account takes forever to make any real money. A 10% gain on a $25,000 account will make you $2,500, but that same 10% on a $1,000 account will make you just $100, which I'm pretty sure is all my Netflix subscription costs right now. But you can trade with $25,000 with a prop firm for $220. If you don't know what a prop firm is, it I know exactly where this is going. I've just got absolutely clip baited. He's gonna buy a prop firm challenge for $220 and say he made a 25k account. It's just a company like that will let you trade with their money if you can prove that you can trade by <gasps> passing a challenge. Now, I have my own trading accounts, but with everyone doing these prop firm challenges over the last few months, I decided to do one myself. So I've been doing a prop firm challenge with Osprey FX for the last couple of months. This is how it works. There are three stages. The demo stage. I need to trade for 10 days and have 10% profit within a month. I can't lose over 5% in a day or 12% in total. Then we have the verification stage. I need to trade 10 days and show 8% profit in about two months. Once I pass these two stages, I'm verified. I get that $25,000 account. I could trade it, or maybe I can give it to one of you. So smash the hell out of that like button, subscribe to the channel, and Here let's get into stage one to see if I can pass a funded account challenge. Let's go. It's time for Here stage one. I need 10 days of trading and 10% profit in a single month. Let's pop up the chart, and I'll have my editor put a counter here or here, showing the percentage gains. Yo, his editor, his editor is fire. His editor's actually fire. Like, if you message me, TJFX98 on Instagram, may I edit all my own videos? All throughout this first this video stage is of the test, and then I'll get into the Man second test as well and show you if I was able to pass the challenge or not. So let's take a look at my first trade you can see right here. This is a New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar trade. If I zoom out, you can see I'm using a trend line, really tracking this downtrend right here. If I zoom in, you can see I have another soft trend line right here. This gets broken at this level, and then I'm using it as a resistance level right here, telling me that the market is going to go down once again. So let's go ahead and see what happened with this trade. You can see immediately uh. this trade went in my direction, smashed my take profit right there, banking me $376. Now I have let's two go. take profits on this trade, so I opened two trades. This is trade one. This here is trade number two. And on the second trade, what I did after hitting this take profit level right here, I set my stop loss to break even. And as you can see shortly after, I did trigger that break even right here. So we don't really need to play this out. We know that the trade banked me 300. Like break all even of right this. Here, so we don't. I'm pretty sure it's the editor. We don't really need to play this out. We know that the trade banked me $376 and then zero dollars on the second trade. So after one trade, I'm up $376. Let's go into trade number two. So for my second trade here, you could see I'm a bit zoomed out. I'm using some classic support and resistance here. And if I zoom in right here, you can see the price comes down at this level right here. I feel like this is my liquidity grab before the price is going to push up. So at this point, I wanna see the price break through this resistance level right here, test it as support on multiple occasions as it did before we see that next push upwards. So let's go ahead and see what happened with this trade. You could see it goes in my direction, barely goes down at all. Smash my first take profit after about 50 Mate, I mean, 
this is, I'm starting to think. I'm using like 10 pip SLs. I'm starting to think, man. A 40 pip SL, bro. Even a 1 to 1, 2 to 1. Like, I'm insane at trading. It's just sometimes because I use 10 pip SLs. I always can get the market direction. Always. 15, 20 hours right here. And then if we continue to play this trade forward, this continues to go in my direction, as you can see here, and finally does smash my second take profit at this level right here. So on the first trade, I was able to grab 63 pips, $378. On my second trade, 158 pips, $308. The reason I made less money on the second trade is because I'm using a lower lot size. So after a couple of trades, I'm up a couple of percent. Now, I don't normally trade with prop firms. If I'm trading my own personal accounts, they are with Hanko Trade, the number one Forex broker in the market. It's easy to use, their live chat is awesome, and most importantly, they pay my withdrawals on time. So if you wanna trade where I trade, Check the link in the description right now. Sign up with Hanko Trade. It's free to register. Now let's get back to the funded challenge. All right, so after my first couple of wins there, I did have a couple of losses. One was for $340, one was for $113. I can't show you this because TradingView isn't giving me the history for that. So let's pop up the chart and I'll continue showing you more trades from this challenge. So. For the next trade I placed, sadly, this one was a loss as well. So I had the two positions I lost in the last trade, and then I have two positions that I lost right here. We were clearly in a downtrend. I thought this downtrend was going to continue. I had a break of my level right here. I was getting ready for this retest and push, but it never did push, so I lost that trade. Losing is a part of trading. That's fine. You can take a look at the counter here. We will bounce back. So let's go ahead and take a may look. I, at the may I actually like this video because he's taken losses and losses are part of the game. And it's good that he shows it. He has to show it because he takes losses. You know, it's part of trading. So it makes it, it, makes it such a better video because he's tracking every trade. Next trade. So the next trade here is a Euro US but I wanted to see it actually trade. physically. You know? We are trading in a bit of a range right now. I believe that we are going to stay Proof. in this range and push down. So I decided to put a little bit of a sell trade right here. You can see this trade play out. I went and smashed my take profit right here for $375. After smashing that take profit, I set a break even at this level right here. And you can see if I play this trade out, we actually end up touching this break even right there. And then the trade does continue to go in my direction, but then the trade does actually end up losing. So it's a good thing that I did use this break even yeah, right and here. Doesn't because get back then in. I had the win for 375 and then a break even trade. Let's move into the next trade. Okay, so this is another trade from the challenge right here. Let's just go ahead and play this one out. You can see here, I smash my take profit. I set my break even and I get tapped out right here. But I did smash my take profit for 378 right there. So that's a solid trade. And if we play this one out, you can see this one actually did end up going in my direction after a little bit of time here. And so really, I could have stuck with this one. But when you're doing a challenge like this, you don't want to lose. That's why I frequently use break evens. Even though this wasn't a great break even to take right here because I would have won this trade. And man, I would have won a really nice trade. This would have been a risk reward ratio of four. So I would have won combining both of these trades. I would have won 5%, which would have went a long way in this challenge. And almost every single one of these trades is provided in my VIP room. You could see right here, but I wasn't trading every single VIP signal that I send. I was picking and choosing my favorite signals for this challenge. Now let's continue on here to the Euro Swiss franc. This was another similar trade, right? You can see here the trade went in my direction, Brilliant. smashed my first take profit at and this second. level right here, and then continued to push up. But sadly, I did set a break even after my first take profit. So it sometimes knocked you win, right sometimes here. you lose. And so you this know? was another one. I could have stayed with this trade. I would have won it right here. And this would have been a risk reward ratio of 2.5. So if I added both of those up, that would have been 3.5%. But I did get the $373. And then I did. Mate, this is something that I'm learning so with this strategy is that he keeps getting these little wins. Another man. good couple of trades. Let's oh, move into play. the next trade right here. 
This is a Euro US dollar. I was trading the two minute time frame. I was looking for a quick trade right here. Let's just play this sucker out. You can see here, smash my first take profit. Go ahead, smash my second take profit. Wait. This was a 10 pip winner right here. And this was a 24.7 pip. This, uh, his editor, yeah, uh, honestly needs to hit me up. The, these videos, yeah, the way that Pat's doing this is so much more engaging. He's not even, it's the editor that's actually doing this for him, you know? Like, these are all edited on. This is edited on. This is edited on. This might not be edited on. He might have done this, actually. But all I'm trying to say is all of the animations, the movement. Right watch. here, banking me 373 and 322. And from these trades, I got about all of this. And a half percent this on at the, the bottom. Account, which is exactly what I want to do because I got to get above that 10 Very good video, threshold. Man. Let's move to my next trade. This trade was amazing. This was a four to one, and I hit this trade. But for some reason, trading view isn't letting me go back this far. You could see if I click on this right here, the 20,000 bars is the limit right now. But I actually showed this trade in an old video. I did a US 30 video at the end of October. You could check my channel if you want to see that trade and the strategy that I used to get that trade. So let's go into the final trade as part of this challenge. You can see the final trade in the challenge. I actually lose. I lose my first position here and my second position here. This was minus $300. This was minus $122. And at that point, I decided it's enough because at this point, I'm up over $3,000, wow. which is a 12% gain, which is 2% over the requirement. So there was no reason for me to trade any longer. Why I not? placed 19 positions, winning nine of those positions. I went break even on four of those positions and Very then good. lost six of those positions. So Very good. you can see my trade management was really good because because I was able to make a few thousand dollars despite not having a huge 70 or 80% win rate. So stage one is done. I passed, hit that check mark right there. Let's get into stage number two, show you some more trades and dig in deep. Let's see if I was able to pass the Osprey FX funded challenge. Okay, I'm back. My wife and I had to decorate the Christmas tree in my office. That's done and so is stage one. So I only have one more stage to complete to see if I can get that $25,000. For this second stage, the rules are I need 10 days of trading and I need an 8% gain. Let's see if I can get it done and pop up the charts here. Okay, this was my first trade. This is an Australian dollar Japanese yen sell trade. Let's just play it out and see exactly what happened. You can see here, smash my first take profit, came up, hit my break even. So I was able to get one win on this trade for 375 and then break even for $0 on my second position on this trade. This is a good start. In terms of what I was thinking for this trade, I really have no idea. I don't remember this trade very well. This one could have come from one of my analysts. The next trade I remember very, very well. This is a US dollar Japanese yen trade. All right, if I scroll out, you can see here we have a lot of downwards movement here. Lots of downwards momentum, right? There's a continuous push to the downside right here. So I am looking for sell trades. I also have my resistance area right here. So what I'm doing right here is seeing the liquidity get taken out of the market at this point above my support and resistance right here. So all I wanted to do is see the price come below this level and retest this area before we push down and continue in that downtrend after we've had a fair amount of consolidation right here. So let's go ahead and see what happened with this trade. You can see, smash my first take profit, smash again, my second take again. profit. This was a nice win, 375 right here. Second win right here, 525 on the second win. And this is a great way to get into this challenge. You can see I had a one to one risk reward ratio on my first profit big, target, big on my wins. second take profit. That's a 4.2% risk reward ratio. That is awesome. Obviously I'm using a little bit lower lot size on these second trades because I find them a bit more risky. And these are the type of money management decisions you need to make when you're using a funded challenge. Let's move into my next trade here. You can see this trade was actually a good trade, right? If I scroll out, you can see we do have good downward momentum. You can see I have my support and resistance on the chart right here. I get multiple touches Unlucky. on my resistance right here. So I'm getting ready for that push down. I really believe it's going to happen. What happens on this trade? One, Look, two, three, tap out my centers. Stop loss right yeah. here. 
get does a little bit of a liquidity grab i didn't expect it to happen Happens, and then i right. get that push that down that i was expecting so this would have been an awesome trade instead i lost 370 on my first 120 on my second take profit it is what it is this would have been a really nice trade a one to one on the first and then a two and a half to one on the second this would have been a solid trade i still believe in this analysis i just should have given myself a little bit more room on this stop loss right here to win that trade now let's move into another one this trade was really really fast i basically opened it it wicked down smashed my take profit for 380 and then i made sure to set my stop loss to break even which it hit almost immediately after that so i was able to get the 381 and the zero dollars on the second one so what happened on this trade is we were trading within this range we did have a bit of a downtrend right here, so I was expecting a downward push. Instead of the push coming where I had my trade right here, the push did come at this Going level right here. As you can see, it was a massive push down. So I was just a little bit early on my analysis, but again, I was able to win the trade and I always trust my analysis and watch to see how that market plays out after. Let's go to another trade right here. This was a solid trade. I remember sending this one to my VIP room. Almost every single one of these trades was sent to my VIP room. So if you want some of these trades, you can get them in my VIP room. You can join there if you want. The link is in the description. Now, look at this trade. Beautiful, right? Smash my first take profit, smash my second take profit, 373 and 475 respectively just an awesome trade and i really played this one out well you can see i have my resistance area right here getting respected you can see a liquidity grab right here before we get a push down you can see and another uh, liquidity grab right here yeah. before we get another push down so that's exactly what i was looking at then i had a retest of there. my resistance here one last time high i waited here, for a bit of a pullback pull to this here. area before my here. final push down it was perfect analysis and over $800, a couple percentage points for the trading account. Let's go to this trade right here. Honestly, I don't remember what the hell I was thinking on this trade. It was clearly ugly. It clearly didn't go in my direction. We shot right up, smashed both my stop losses, took an L of 378, an L of 126. This is part of trading. This is part of the challenge, but it's all about bouncing back. I did bounce awesome. back immediately after that. I, I thought we were going to have a push down here. You could see the market is going down. And then I have my support and resistance set up right here. I'm using this as my resistance. I get a retest. I think we're going to push down. It doesn't push down. I end up with two losses in a row here. That's four positions I lose in a row. At this point, I'm feeling a little bit dicey, but I'm really close to that 8%. So let's get into that next trade. This trade, I remember, this was a trade everyone was really happy with in the VIP room. Let's just play this sucker out. You can see smash the take profit, smash the take profit. This is what you want your trades to look like. Hit 375, 495. You could see a one-to-one -one on the first one, a four-to-one risk reward rate show on the second one just an awesome trade the reason i took this trade is because we had this big push up right here and then we had a little bit of consolidation and then i was expecting that next push up to my resistance level right here the analysis was good the trade played out exactly the way it should and now i'm really close to that eight percent so i gotta stay low risk let's take a look at my next trade you can see my next trade right here this is a nice little break and retest i have consolidation right here the price comes out retest this support area right here a couple of times let's play the trade out you could see smash my take profit then i come down and i hit my break even it is what it is right i got 379 on this one i That's hit it, my mate. break even Small right w. here zero on the second I'm taking really low risk because again, I'm at the point now where I have over 8% and so I don't want to give too much of it back. I just want a little bit more cushion. So I decided I would take one more trade right here. I'm not sure what the hell I was thinking on this trade. The trade smashed my stop loss right here, smashed my stop loss Thank right you here. More trade. But I risked very little on this trade because I didn't want to go beneath that 8% threshold. And this was my last trade in the challenge. So at the end of all these trades i'm up two thousand and forty three dollars which is 8.1 percent which Fair means play. i passed stage two and i'm getting my twenty five thousand dollar trading account Let's now go. i'm going to show you proof of that twenty five thousand dollar funding account to show you that i got it then i'm going to show you exactly how you can use a funded trading account to get twenty five thousand dollars to trade with if that's something you're interested in let's go
All right, guys, I'm back. The funded challenge is complete. I passed it. You can see here, this is the email from Osprey Effects telling me I passed the funding let's challenge. Go, and go. this here is my live verified account in the Osprey FX members area. Now I'm going to log into my account for the first time. So let's just pop up MetaTrader. You can see here it's the Osprey Live 4. This is the trading server that I'm using. You can see I have to set my existing account here. So let me just log into that account right now. This is my account ID and my trader password. These are both obviously going to be blurred because I don't want you to try and log into my verified trading account. You can see here, <laughs> just click finish and I am logged in. All right, so I just clicked log in right there and you can see here I am logged in to my verified Osprey FX live trading account. You can see here at the bottom, this has $25,000. So I now can trade with $25,000 worth of capital. I'm still not exactly sure what I'm going to do with this account. What do you want me to do? If I'm going to trade it, if one of my analysts are going to trade it, you know, I have my own accounts and they are significantly bigger than $25,000. Now, if you think that you can beat one of these challenges, I have a link in the description right now. The link will take you to a page like this where I'm doing a challenge. I'm going to give away three funded account challenges absolutely free. All you have to do is come create an account on Osprey FX, subscribe to my YouTube channel and join my Telegram channel as well. If you do sign up for a challenge, you can see I have a coupon here, trade with Pat 20. Even though it says 15% here, I talked to Osprey FX, we'll get that to 20%. And in terms of when I'm going to announce the winner, you can see it says 23 days down here, but I'm gonna cut that to about 14 days, something around two weeks. So we can get three funded account challenges out to the Trade with Pat community. So I hope that you enjoyed Let's watching go. me complete this funding challenge today. If you want some of my trading signals that I use to complete this funding challenge, check out the VIP room. The link to that is in the description. My free room link is also in the description. I'm just happy that you watched this. Please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave Let's a comment, maybe watch this video here, maybe watch this video subscribe here. And like. That's it guys, I'm out of here. Much love. Great video. Let's come on, great video. Guys, if you enjoyed that, link down below in the description for trade with Pat. I mean, that was a great video. Pass phase one and phase two. Smart risk. I like the R to R, even though it was small time frames, but it was nice R to R, and he always kept on hitting TP1. It didn't matter. He traded safe with break even. Brilliant video. Thanks for watching, subscribe to myself, like this video, comment down below who else you want me to watch, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.